Razer recently made a power play for the 15-inch gaming laptop market with the Razer Blade 15, which impressed with its svelte design and powerful performance. But due to its pricing, all but the most deep-pocketed gamers couldn't get in on the fun, until now. Starting at $1,599, reviewed at $1,799, the latest iteration of the Blade features the lovely, durable design we've come to expect paired with an Intel Core i7 processor and an NVIDIA GTX 1060 Max-Q GPU. It's also one of the first Razer laptops to offer dual storage and gigabit Ethernet. The new Blade gives a masterclass in navigating the treacherous road between affordability and power. Design the Blade 15 is an 80s throwback in the best possible way. Its teeny, tiny rounded corners gives the laptop a boxy shape that conjures up memories of epaulette-style shoulder pads found on those old-school women's power suits. Or it might just be I have Huey Lewis and the news hip to be square stuck on repeat in my head. Either way, it's a got a funky, retro style that I'm digging. Like all blades, the majority of the Blade 15 is made of its midnight CNC aluminum. The lid, which has some noticeable flex in the middle, has Razer's trademark verdant three-headed serpent casting a seductive glow. Display. The Blade 15's 15.6-inch 15 matte panel is very vibrant, allowing actress Zoe Renee Sherry Red Leotard to pop on the screen during the gin trailer. Details were sharp enough that I could see the individual ringlets in the girls' magenta and lilac locks. The 60Hz screen had no problem delivering crisp graphics as I played The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. I shot an orangey red column of fire at an incoming bandit, causing him to drop to the ground, writhing in agony. I ran him through with my sword and took time to admire the sheen of Geralt's ashen white locks before moving on to my next foe. Based on our testing, the Blade 15 screen can reproduce 156% of the sRGB color gamut. It easily surpassed the 110% mainstream gaming laptop average as well as the Hero Eye's 120%. The M15 and Stealth then tied at 150%. Audio. Don't let those unassuming pair of top-mounted speakers fool you, the Blade 15 gets pretty loud while remaining relatively accurate. Listening to Pentatonix's Can't Sleep Love, I could clearly hear every part of the five-person harmony on maximum volume. The sound managed to cover our entire medium-sized test lab, thanks to a sizable boost from the Dolby Atmos software. Out of the six available settings, movie, dynamic, Music, game, voice and personalize, I found that dynamic and music delivered the most pleasing results. Keyboard and touchpad. Razer's Chroma keyboards are always a sight to behold, I just wish they were a little more comfortable to type on. Despite their 65 gram actuation, the ultra-low travel keys consistently bottom out, due to their short 1.2 mm of travel, 1.5 mm is our accepted minimum. The chiclet style keys lack any significant pop, 